Bonjour mes amis, hi guys. Today I caught up with the 2023 World Tour of the GPHG, the Grand Prix d'Horlogerie de Genève, if you will, the uh, annual Watch Awards from Geneva, organized by the Tatler with partners among which uh, Austin Chu, who you might know on Instagram as Oroloop. I really like the displays, you could really have a sense of the watches in all their dimension. I would have loved to be able to see more of the case back, of course, maybe next time. So let's start with the chronographs and we will go through all the watches of all the categories, just spending a few seconds on each of them. For example, this uh, De Betune with a pusher integrated in the crown. Finally, I get to see in person the Tentagraph by a Grand Seiko imposing watch, uh, high beat, tenth of a second resolution, Really quite uh, something. This uh, rattrapant chronograph by a brand new couple of watchmakers, Peterman Beda, is making a lot of noise. It is beautiful, partially open works, and is one of my favorites. And I think many people have noticed it as well. Uh, among the uh, nominees of uh, this year's GPHG, really a beautiful presentation. And we'll have to see what the jury thinks of. Uh, indie watchmaker versus the well-established other brands that uh, are competing in the same category. Here we have the Singer Reimagine with the brand new chronograph by uh, Agenor, which you can find also in the Moser watch. I really love uh, this watch. It's not cheap, though a bit more affordable is uh, the uh, Regatta timer of uh, Tag Heuer, which is already available in the shops. Now in the challenge, uh, we have uh, the uh, Kurono, much more affordable. And I was very uh, taken aback by this beautiful, very refined uh, Raymond Weil, a brand that we don't talk about a lot, but I think this watch is going to please a lot of people. Here we have another crowd pleaser, of course, the uh, Nomos. Uh, I believe this is the, uh, the, the Club Campus. Uh, beautiful color uh, anyway. And uh, I have this watch, but in a different color. This is the GMT Diver by uh, Seiko. And this is the playful Studio Underdog. Not many available. It's a micro brand. Very cool. And I'm delighted to see Timeless nominated. Available at independentwatcher.com. I've presented to you this brand. Very affordable on the channel. Now, in the iconic section, of course, we have to have another Audemars Piguet. Brand new color of dial for the Grand Classic uh, Navy Timer by uh, Breitling. On my wrist, I had a Traveler 1 by uh, Chopard, which got to meet uh, the 1960 with a new dial configuration, micro rotor, beautiful watch, as well as this uh, IWC black dial version of the new Ingenieur shining under the light next to the already available in the shops brand new Carrera. Very cool watch, as well as the Ulysse Nardin Freak, which has become a classic. In the Petit Aiguille category, the sturdy, revamped uh, Tudor Black Bay, uh, Massina uh, Lab, as well as the Louis Erard collaboration uh, with Constantin Chaikin. Uh, one of my favorite watches this year is uh, the uh, Habring uh, Chrono Felix uh, Top Second Look. Within the nine, every two and a half seconds, the uh, little red indication turning to indicate the seconds. I really love the texture of the dial, similar to what Patek has, uh, has been doing. It's a monopusher chronograph and, of course, the uh, Bel Canto by uh, Christopher Ward. Actually, my first time to see it in person. A cool complication, of course, which strikes every hour and finally an octo roma by uh, bulgari not really a new thing uh, my chopper again for another chopper in the sports category i love this eight hertz version of the alpine eagle i wasn't expecting to look it to look so good in person and again just like uh, my world timer the ar coating lets you enjoy fully the gorgeous dial uh, this is one of my favorite watches in the sports category next to it we have a classic diver beautiful uh, doxa and a uh, grunefeld i'm sure there's a big show on the uh, flip side of this watch of course and this is my favorite dial version 
of the IWC engineer. It really catches the light beautifully uh, in this uh, presentation. I gotta say, it gets a bit more tempting every day. And of course, we have uh, Tag Monaco, fully skeletonized, open works, very cool. And the brand new Tudor Pelagos 39 in titanium, of course. Now, moving on to the tourbillon category with a gorgeous, breathtaking, ultra thin Arnold and Sons. I just admire the wonderful carriage there. Maybe I'm going to stop yapping a little bit just to let you enjoy this uh, fully. And we have next to it uh, incredibly engraved uh, Beauvais, a wonderful piece that belongs in a museum. Now here we have an, another Octa Roma, but this one is the Papillon Tourbillon striking with a striking color as well indeed uh, and then we have the uh, hyt uh, conical uh, tourbillon infinity sapphires the uh, laurent ferrier uh, grand sport uh, pursuit hides its uh, little tourbillon uh, secret uh, a lot better and we have a flying tourbillon here with the uh, Parmigiani, which has uh, brought quite a few watches uh, in these uh, nominations. Very refined. Now, mechanical exception. We start with uh, Audemars Piguet flexing its uh, horological muscles with the uh, Code 1159 packed full with uh, complications really impressive as well as this uh, Vendôme Complicité by uh, Japek. I know my buddy uh, Benjamin Hoy at Independent Watcher loves, loves this piece so uh, maybe I'll get to review it uh, sooner or later. This is the uh, Olans. Uh, we have seen this uh, brand on the channel. This is their brand new model for the re introduction of the, the brand to the public, I would say. And uh, Jacob and Co, you know them well, uh, with the producer Michael, always entertaining. This is the uh, Astronomia Revolution. Now Louis Vuitton also showing exceptional timepieces with the uh, retrograde seconds, jumping our tourbillon. This is uh, the uh, Tambour Opera Automata. And now something uh, brand new, the Rudy Silva RS23, just like the JPEG, you see here uh, two balance wheels, but these two are connected by a little teeth, and the idea is to uh, fight the effect of gravity. Beautiful finishing as well. Uh, this piece is under, under 100,000 Swiss franc and really uh, exceptional. Shout out to my buddy Kevin Kuro uh, from uh, Risk Check, the uh, high-end consignment business of Austin Chu, who uh, got me to look closer at this piece. Now, you want to look closer at these as well, the uh, calendar and astronomy selection. Beauvais again stuns everyone with the uh, Recital 20 Asterium. You can see the Earth in relation to the Sun, the Sun going to faster, slower, uh, tourbillon, everything insanely beautiful uh, handcrafted and we talk very little about Beauvais maybe because it is uh, so high up uh, in the stratosphere and beyond uh, much closer to us this is the moon phase by uh, well-loved young watchmaker Felipe Piculic uh, a lot more everyday wearable uh, I think this watch just showing you uh, enough show uh, while remaining uh, fairly under the radar. Back in the sky with the uh, Top Gun uh, Lake Tao Perpetual Calendar by IWC. And how can you not love the uh, sobriety of uh, the collaboration between Habring and Massina Lab for the Chrono Felix Perpetual uh, Mono Pusher? This one coming at a fairly reasonable price, I must say. And my Chinese colleague really appreciated it the effort of uh, Parmigiani to bring a full Chinese calendar in a great color in their uh, Tonda PF uh, Obsidian. Great name for a watch. Thank you, Piaget. 
We'll see Piaget again in this uh, selection. In the men's complication, we have the RTA Tiny Purity Tourbillon Chameleon. Chameleon because it changes color depending on the heat uh, around you. The heat is brought out as well again with another concept watch uh, by uh, Audemars Piguet. I'm sure Austin Chu, who was there actually in the room as I was watching the, this watch, uh, appreciates it very much. Uh, 1822 uh, recital by uh, Bove, uh, really uh, a master of complications. And you will appreciate, I'm sure, the uh, purity, simplicity of the Tonda PF Minute de Rattrapante. Uh, and everybody agrees that uh, this is a wonderful uh, execution of uh, the, the Piaget Polo with the perpetual calendar in a great color. Squarish shape here for the world timer by uh, famous Kari Vutilainen. Now let's look a bit at some uh, artistic crafts watches uh, starting with the Anderson Genève. Really a wonderful uh, jumping hour. And this is the uh, Louis Monet Savannah Tourbillon Tiger. Look closely. There's a puzzle actually on the dial. Really a puzzling watch. Uh, Altiplano. I love uh, the details on the dial. The handcrafting is just uh, exceptional. This is the Altiplano Metidar Ondulata. Rudy Silva again uh, with the harmonious oscillator decorated with the legend symbols of the carp koi and the lotus. Meanwhile, uh, Sarpaneva, a brand we discovered thanks to independentwatcher.com, uh, displays the Naki and all the uh, Nordic handcrafting uh, in their glory. And this is a Van Cleef and Arpels, uh, Lady Duo de Lyon. Now, in the men's category, we start with the Star Wheel uh, Code 1159, a great complication that has been now emulated by uh, some uh, micro brands. Uh, I, I have to say, in person, I found it a bit, a bit flat, maybe, but uh, it's still a very good looking watch. And this is a DB28 uh, by uh, De Bethune. Always uh, impeccable finishing, of course. And take a look from the side at. Uh, one of the standout watches, if not the standout, of course, as usual, Ferdinand Berthoud. Uh, this is the Chronometre uh, 3 SPC with the only cylindrical balance spring chronometer certified. Uh, Ferdinand Berthoud, well established, uh, incredible finishing, incredible chronometry. And at the back here, you can see uh, Austin Chu. Actually, I wonder what he thinks of this Tonda uh, PF and of the Ferdinand Bertou. As I said, well established. And here we have uh, one of the uh, competition's favorites in the men's category, the Simon Brett uh, Chronometre Artisan. Just a gorgeous presentation and a lot more, I think, wearable than the Ferdinand Berthoud. It's great to see independent watchmakers uh, presenting something uh, sumptuous. And I wonder how the jury will compare the watches. I can't really say there's one better than the other. Different approaches. Some brands are much more established. It's great to see new brands. I can't tell you how the watches are going to run, right? In uh, five years, we'll have to, to see a bit. Uh, same for the Minute Mort of uh, Redet uh, Regepi. Uh, you can find out all the technical details, of course, on the GPHG 2023 uh, website. Uh, this, uh, this watch here, actually, in person is very small, but has a very uh, long lugs, uh, which I'm sure will look beautiful on the wrist. Now let's look a bit at uh, some uh, jewelry and Within all those jewels from uh, Bulgari, Chopard, there is actually a little uh, time display as well, the Damiani. Uh, really fascinating to see how Gucci timepieces is uh, stepping up just like you know Chanel, Hermes uh, have done, uh, enlisting the expertise of the very best from uh, Switzerland. And here is a great necklace by uh, Piaget. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear wh what you think in the, in the comments. Uh, whether you're a man or a lady, the ladies' watches again are coming up. I love this uh, this one here, by the way. 
uh, with a tourbillon, Hermes, keeps on coming up with, uh, with great watches. Uh, I'd love to know what you, what you think, which ones are your, your favorite. Do you think some are too ornate? Uh, do in general prefer the more pared down watches? But look at this Van Cleef. My God, this is a, this is a watch. Uh, wow, maybe not something for every day, but um, this XRB might be uh, something you could wear a bit more often. Uh, ladies Complications, Anderson Genève, together with a Benjamin Chi, from Singapore, this is the Arctic Sunrise. Uh, I might actually uh, meet uh, Benjamin uh, this week. Uh, this is the Chopard uh, Jumping Hour and another Automaton by uh, Christian uh, Dior. Uh, another colorful uh, Gucci uh, Planetarium. Uh, just look at those little stars turning uh, around the dial. Just uh, interesting to see uh, Gucci coming into the, the watch game uh, pretty strongly, but I do love the simplicity, the purity of this Portofino. Whether it's a ladies or a man's watch, this watch is just stunning. In a very different style, uh, Louis Vuitton once again has uh, a, a lot to say uh, with, with this watch, with a tourbillon, and I can't imagine what the little button on the side uh, <laughs> will trigger. Uh, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed discovering with me. I hope the video was pleasing to the eyes. It was really great to see these watches. I love the presentation. So congratulations to the organizers of this tour. And if you can catch it, I really recommend you uh, to, to visit it. It gives you a different perspective on the competition. Good luck, everyone. Bye-bye, guys.